Okay, here we go. We're going to do an exercise in value study using line. So we have our paper and we've actually set up three open rectangles. Notice that on three sides they have lines very lightly drawn with pencil but not on the third. And so we're going to start with the first rectangle and we have a sharpie, a thin point sharpie, and we are going to very, in a controlled way, make vertical lines top to bottom, making, making sure that you go edge to edge, edge to edge. And the reason why we want this to be controlled and we're not doing a hard outline is because we want the value to dictate the space. I'll speed it up to get by the boring parts because what we want to do here is we want to create a value scale from absolute black to absolute white. And the hard thing with pen is that you can't just lay off on the pressure. It's either ink down or not ink down. So with this, we have to create the illusion of value by leaving marks. So if the lines are closer together, it will look up darker. And if they're more spaced apart, they will look lighter. And I want to have this be a gradual gradation. And five is kind of the midpoint uh, of the grayscale. So the first one you're going to do is going to have lines. And the second one will be scribbles. And again, no hard outlines. Scribble, 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 and seeing if you can really control how you go edge to edge. Uh, obviously, that's very fast, but that's what it looks like. Now, with the third one, I want to show you some options. This one, you're going to have a choice of whatever mark you want to make. So if you wanted to do what's called cross-hatching, you may do that. And that's where you go vertical, horizontal, and the diagonals. And the more you layer up the lines, meaning the more you cover up the white paper, the darker it will look. So obviously when there's greater space between the lines, the lighter it looks. That's cross-hatching. This one is grass strokes. It's a little more natural looking. You may actually end up doing this when we do some more gestural landscape drawing. You can see that when there are more lines stacked up, it looks darker. Last one we do is going to be a little bit of cross-hatching where you step away and you can have these shorter moments, uh, almost like a parquet floor that's been shuffled around. But again, the more layers, the darker it gets. Here's one that's a little bit silly or wacky. Um, I'm using my name, Frank. And the more you layer up any of these lines, including a word or a name, the darker it will look. So speed that up. And again, you can create a value study with that. And the last one I'm going to show you is a set of shapes. So these circles, and I will vary the size a little bit. Sometimes a little bit tighter, a little bit smaller, sometimes a little bit bigger. But again, as you layer up more, the darker the value will become. So new, moving back to our last value scale. So the first one's line, the second one is scribble. Last one you may choose. And this one I've chosen dots, which is really ambitious because it takes a long time. Luckily with the Sharpie, you are able to press down and it receives the mark well and is actually able to uh, create a pretty perfect dot as opposed to a ballpoint pen where it does not as well. So dots everywhere. And again, the space between the dots, if there's a lot of white, it's going to look lighter. Though sometimes the way I like to think of it is what is the relationship between mark and no mark. If it's equal to white and black, then you are about, at about 50% gray. So let's just see some of this work and see how this moves gradually from the absolute black on the left side to uh, white on the other side. Now the last thing I want us to do is to lightly sketch this box and I've left it in the canvas and I want you to use whatever mark you want. I'm actually going back to the scribble on this and seeing if you can create in a sort of color by numbers way uh, a consistent mark throughout. It's not like I'm changing from scribble to dot to line. You got to use whatever you've chosen in the beginning and I'm trying to come up with these planes of value and I'm not hard outlining anything except for and this is the one area where you can do it, if it's meeting with black, because black will show up as black, and then you can kind of run right into that line. So here is just a practice for how would we create this illusion of this three-dimensional form, this box with the flaps, 
and if we are consistent with where I put that light source on the right side, it should be darker on the left side of the box with the, with the shadow cast. And the flaps that are more exposed to that light source will be lighter. So here come the scribbles. And again, like I said, you can hard outline anywhere that you have black. But in other areas, I want you to be really controlled going edge to edge so that just that value is able to create that illusion of three-dimensionality. Another good thing about, uh, and I've started with black here, one good aspect about dealing with black or your darkest value is that once you've done it, if you're moving into another shape that's next to it, your scribble or your mark or your line or whatever you use can actually uh, be less controlled and move into that because you're not going to make that darker area any darker. So as I've done that shadow, if that area above it, which is about at a 90% black, uh, I can actually scribble into that. Other areas where it meets white, like right here, where it's the ground, I have to be a little bit more controlled with that edge. And you'll see that sometimes I might start from the edge and move inward so that I really make sure that everything looks uh, tight with a controlled um, meeting of two values. And in this exercise, I want us to have at least absolute black, absolute white, and a couple different areas of varying gray. And then I might even do a little gradation with the light in the background here so that it, it might get a little bit lighter as we get towards that light source. And there you have it.